a lot of people ask me like whether I write songs sort of based like completely on a true story but um, a lot of the time I'll think about like a certain situation whether it's me that's been through it or a friend and then I'll just it'll just ooh, I'm hitting computers everywhere um, <laughs> I'm doing terrible today um, it just uh, it, it can come from different places I mean it did come from a, a certain like personal experience but it took on its own story it's quite interesting um, to say you know I know you think I'm crazy mm. that's what you told my friends and that's an interesting phrase to use because we recently talked about gaslighting. Yeah, yeah, that's um, it's it's pretty much about that. Yeah, it's about um, you know if, if you if you have a breakup with someone and then you find out a while later that they have just told all of their friends and you you know uh, your own friends that uh, you know well you know uh, don't don't let it get back don't let it get back to her that I'm seeing someone else or something like that you know and you think oh oh well, I wouldn't have. We haven't been all that bothered, but yeah. you know, you've made me look absolutely mad. So, um, how do you, I mean the time that you have uh, is limited because you're so busy, mm. um, and that of course gets in the way of of kind of forging new relationships, not with friends, of course, because friends just put up with <laughs> <Yeah>. whatever you <laughs> do. But in terms of kind of forging new relationships, it that must be difficult, right? Um, I mean, I, I mean, I was, I've, I've been in, um, I've been in a relationship for almost a year now. Um, nice. But it came from uh, the music industry instead. So ah, where, yeah. where there's an understanding about yeah. the lifestyle that is involved in that. Exactly. But uh, well, no, no. Well, <laughs> um, but uh, no, it's it's all good. It's all really, really healthy. I think you know, it, it doesn't really matter what you know industry that you come from. I think if you find someone with common ground, if you if you're doing if you're in the same industry and you have like things in common, like something. You know, I mean, music takes up your entire lifestyle, you know. So, does, yeah. you know, you, you just forge really close relationships, I think, no matter what you do in the creative industry. Um, it's, a, I guess, an extension of being so honest as you have been mm. on YouTube, isn't mm -hmm. it? But then, yeah. of course, then it has to be poetic, yeah, I mean, I mean, do you mean like, um, like in my songwriting? Yeah, exactly. Or, yeah. So there's a confessional that you do down the barrel of a camera mm. to the people, the 1.5 million people <laughs> that subscribe to your YouTube channel. Yeah, and then there's songwriting mm. as well. And do you find that songwriting is a way of actually delving deeper? into some of those feelings and exploring them some more? I think so. I think basically they are two separate entities, of course. Like when you turn on a camera, you can just say, hey, this is what I've been up to. This is how mm. I feel about this. This this, um, you know, this is what I'm going to be doing. But obviously with music, you can take more like creative liberties with things like that. I think, you know, you can build more of a story. And again, it doesn't have to be so personal. You can build off of, you know, of another friend's experiences as well. You know, it just, I find that with songwriting, like usually it sort of, it, it writes itself like, you know, the way that the song is meant to come out in the end, you know, just like write like songwriting wise. Um, how did it happen? You know, the fact that, like I said, you're now sitting on top of this mounting of 1.5 million <laughs> um, subscribers. What do you think it is about you oh. that connected with that? that many people oh you'd be a lot better off asking uh the people who subscribe yeah. i think a lot of people do say it's you know about being honest i mean when i first started um uh making youtube videos i, I was very much focused on uh, a lot of comedy stuff um and i've been i've been doing comedy you know for the last like seven years or so alongside music um and at the time there there just weren't a lot of females in the uk particularly doing comedy style videos um and i think you know it was it was a niche it was um you know it was something I was able to fill in that part of the market. But also when you come across being really blunt, really honest and say, no, I don't stand for this. Or, you know, you do, you do, you, you build up connections and people say, you know, it's, it's like having a friend that just comes and talks to you for like, you know, a few minutes a week. And it's, um, it's really nice. I think there is that, just that, um, the ability to be really, really personal, but it does come with its own sort of, um, downside. Sometimes people think that they, what, what you put across is, everything about you when really you can talk to a camera for five minutes a week but that's only five minutes out of yeah. an entire week yeah so um, and you've curated it haven't you exactly it's I not mean, fly on the wall exactly i mean there's there's editing that goes into it so if you if you fluff a, a line that you've written in advance or you know you, you go in the edit and think mm, that didn't come out all that well you know you are basically just like this edited you know cut down person that you've crafted um mm. and there is an ability to be able to be distinguished from that. Like people can still see that you are being as authentic and as honest as you can while still editing yourself and going over yourself and choosing what you're going to say. It's a fine line, but um, 
it's 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 something that I think that I have managed to uh, get across because, like you said, I'm I'm sitting here, so yeah, for sure it is. Mm. Um, um, how does it help you to know that you've connected with that many people? Was it always the way that you were someone who found it very easy to connect with people face to face? <laughs> that answers that question. Oh boy, no! I think if you ask uh, a lot of creative people, especially on the internet, whether they're good at communicating with people in the real world I think they would all give the same answer of laughing um, I think people who who start out on YouTube especially uh, back in the day before it became very much a um, you know oh I can become a vlogger for a living you know with all the you know um, misconceptions about it um, it was just a way of people escaping and being able to communicate and get their feelings out when they weren't necessarily all that popular in real life you know I, I didn't really I didn't really do all that well with friends at school and things like that I mean when I first started I was um, I was waitressing you know and I was watching YouTube in my spare time and the people that I was watching um, they were doing it for the same reasons they were just sort of putting their feelings out um, because they felt more comfortable in front of a camera than perhaps talking to a mate down the road right and yeah. how has that then helped you has it helped you connect with human beings face um, to face or <laughs> um, is it still very much to to use a phrase your safe space to be able to talk to a camera I think I still I still prefer my own personal space definitely but I mean um you know, I, I, I've forged a lot of friendships, I've forged relationships, and I think the thing that I'd like to take from it is that when I get to meet um, people who watch me and subscribe to me and listen to my music, when I get to meet them in the real world, they, they come up to me and they hug me and they say thank you, like, you know, your videos have really cheered me up, they've got me out of a, a bad day, the advice you've given me has helped me in my certain situation. You know, um, people who, like, bought, like, the book that I wrote that was about self-help and advice for teenagers, um, you know, people have read that and, and said, like, you know, thank you so much for sharing your experiences and I think that's really what I choose to to think about rather than think about whether it whether it's helped myself I, I think more about you know has it have I helped other people and ultimately apparently so so I'm happy with that rightly so I mean just a few years ago on a video you said that you didn't have a sense of self mm -hmm. and didn't know who you were yeah. has that changed hello now that you've seen just the briefest snippet of an interview that I've just done. Surely you want more of it. Surely you want the half hour, the 40 minutes. Well, BBC Sounds Headliners Podcast is where you need to go. And if you don't go there, your life is going to be rubbish. I, I'm just being real with you.